How's it going viewers? Thank you guys for watching my video. In this video I will be showing you guys how to check to see if an Apple device is activation locked. There are two different ways to check it. Um, if you have the device in your possession, like if you're going to go buy it from somebody, I would recommend checking it before you bought it. Um, and there is the option of if you do not have it in your possession, like if you were buying offline, which is a pretty big risk for buying offline just because you're not able to check it out personally. Um, I would recommend, strongly recommend, doing this activation, uh, activation lock just to see if it actually is locked or not. So the first way if you're meeting up with the person and what you want to do is get into settings. So when you get into the phone, find settings. And from settings, as you can see, all you got to do is scroll down a little bit and there is an iCloud. If you go ahead and select that, this is what you want it to look like. If there is an iCloud signed in or find my iPhone um, selected, you will not be able to activate the phone without getting that removed. So if you are buying it in person, um, have the owner remove it before you bought it, just in case they somehow stole the phone or picked up somebody else's phone and they're trying to sell it for a quick buck. So if it's not like this, I would not recommend buying it. I would definitely stay away from it. Um, so if that's what it looks like, you got a good deal, I would go ahead and buy it. And the second option that we have is checking the device if it is not in our possession, if we can't look at it. So if we don't have it in our possession, it makes it a little bit more difficult. Um, you can't ask the seller to type in the password or get his help to fully reset the iPhone before purchasing it. So if you are buying it offline on a website like eBay, um, what I would do is contact the person that is selling the device and ask for the IMEI number or the serial number. If they don't reply to you, chances are it is a activation lock device and they just don't want to give it to you so they want someone to buy it blindly. Um, if they don't uh, give you the information, I would ask somebody else, look at another offer, some another person that's selling it. So once you get the IMEI number, what you want to do is Google check activation lock status. And as once you type that in, the first thing that will pop up is this one. As you guys can see, it is an iCloud uh, website, so it's Apple approved. So once you're there, just go ahead and select it. It will take you to a screen that looks just like this. I currently have a device that is not locked. I will type in the IMEI and I will show you what it looks like when the activation is not locked. So once you get the IMEI or the serial number typed in and you type in their little puzzle there at the bottom, just go ahead and hit continue. Um, it checked the database to see if the activation lock was on or off. The activation lock is off, so that means this device would be a safe bet. I would buy it. I would recommend buying it. It's something that is not activation locked. I will show you guys another device that is activation locked. I will show you guys what it pops up like. So here is the information of the device that was Apple locked. I had typed in the IMEI number on it and the little code there on the bottom. Go ahead and hit can't continue. As you guys can see, it says activation lock is on. It's an iPhone 5 and it gives you the gives you the IMEI number. So those are the two examples that I have for you guys, the activation lock on and off. If it's on, that means it's locked. Do not buy it. If the activation lock is off, that is a safe bet. Um, and if you are meeting somebody in person, that first way, having no information there on the Apple ID page, that is your safest bet. So that is how to stay safe when buying a used Apple device. Um, I hope this video helped. If you guys have any comments, questions, or concerns, go ahead and put them in the comment section below, and I will try to get to those as soon as I can. Thanks for watching my video. Have a nice day.